In this video, I'll show you how to use GPG to send and receive encrypted messages. I'm going to run you through the whole process. So, so we'll start by downloading and installing the program that we're going to use. Then we'll set up a key pair that we'll need. Then I'll show you how to encrypt a message. And after that, I'll show you how to set up a public key in order to receive encrypted messages from other people. So the first thing we do is go to the website of the program, which is gpg4win.org. Download the program. Now, if you want, you can donate, but if you don't want to donate, then you can select the $0 option and press download. Save the file and open it. Press yes. Okay, we're now going to install the program. So select your language. Press next. And this is the first important step. You'll want to tick this box that says GPA. If you don't do this, you can't do what we're going to do. So tick this box and click next. Select the destination folder and press install. Complete it. Okay, next. And you'll want to reboot now, but for the purpose of this video, I'll do it later. So finish. And it's now given us two programs, GPA and Cleopatra. In this video, I'm going to use GPA. So open this. So now we've opened the program and it immediate, immediately tells us that we do not have a private key yet. So that's the next thing that we're going to do. So generate key now. And it will ask you to enter a name, but you can just enter anything you want. So your name here. Press forward. An email address. Now this can be fake. So just enter anything you like. Fake email at privacy.com forward again and you want to create a backup copy so select that and forward next thing is to create a passphrase now I recommend you choose a long and difficult passphrase I'll keep it simple for now OK. And now it's generating a key for us. Now we want to save this. And I'm going to save it on my desktop. So your, your name here. And this is our key pair, which includes our private key. So I'm going to name this private key and save it on my desktop. It'll ask us for a passphrase again. OK. A copy of your secret key has been made to the file desktop. OK. So now, as you can see, it has created a private key. And it also shows up in the key manager of the program. So we've just created a key pair. And now we'll want to encrypt our first message. So what do you do? Well, first of all, you need uh, a friend's key, your friend's public key, which I have here. And we'll want to import this into our program. So in the program, in the key manager, press import and select friend's public key. That's my friend's public key. Open it and it has recognized it so we can use it. So this is my friend and we'll want to um, create our first encrypted message and send it to that person. So what you do is you go to clipboard. Here's a clipboard and we can create our first message here. So hello, how 
are you? Goodbye. This is the message that we want to encrypt. So the next step is to press encrypt. Then uh, two steps. First of all, select the friends key that you want to send it to. And after that, press sign and select your own key. Okay. Do you really want to use this key? Yes, I want to. And enter your passphrase again. Now, we've just encrypted our first message. So this is the message that only our friend is able to decrypt and read. So now, copy this message and send it to your friend. You can do this via email or Discord or Telegram, whatever you want. Now, I'm not going to do that in this video, but what I'm going to show you is um, how to receive an encrypted message and decrypt it from a friend. So, first of all, um, you need to share your key, but um, we need to separate our public key from our private key because we don't want to send our private key over the internet because then um, anyone can decrypt our message. So, we're going to do that now. I'm going to close the clipboard for now. And on the desktop, we have our private key here. Now we're going to open this. I'm going to use Notepad++, but you can also use the standard um, Notepad. And it'll gi give us a, te a text file with a public key here, up to here. So this is our public key, and below this it has a private key. Now we'll want to separate this, so we're going to copy the public key, select it, and copy it. And our program just stopped working. Well, um, create a new text file and paste the public key. Save as. Public key. Save it. And now this is your public key. You need to send this. Here it is. You need to send this to your friend. And then your friend can do the same steps that we just did and send you a message. Now, when you've received an encrypted message, you open GPA. You uh, paste the message that you got, uh, which we don't have now, and press decrypt. Now, if your friend has done uh, everything right, you just press decrypt and the message will appear. So that's all. Um, I hope this was clear enough. Uh, if not, please let me know uh, in the comments. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.